Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you some more advanced techniques in Visual Basic and it's going to be modal forms. And a modal form is a, sorry, no, almost like a regular sort of form like you've seen here. We can trigger it, so it opens up another form, you know, like what we're gonna create very shortly. And until you close that one, you can't do anything, you know, in the original form. And these forms can have any components that we've already learned from the GUI section of this series. So if I go to Toolbox, and before I even do that, I'm gonna add a new form. So go to Solution Explorer, go to Format Project, right click it, go to Add, go to Windows Form, you know, name it something. I'm gonna leave it Form 2, click Add, and from here, so we know this is a different form, I'm simply gonna add a label which just says, second form and why not I'll increase the actual font size so we can actually make some distinction between it. okay second form uh, is pretty good okay now if we go back to our first form because even if I select here and click start in the properties of our project form one is the one that loads and that's fine we want form two just to pop up we can do that by no, I'll show you the code for it and we'll trigger it based on a button click. So when we click this button, if I go to here, we need to create a new form. So dim, let's say form as form two. So form two in this case is representing a data type equals new. So creating an object of form two. And to show it, you just do the name of the variable form dot show dialog and now let's run it all pretty good we can't see it anywhere if I click that as you can see it has now popped up as form 2 and you know if there were buttons here or text boxes we could do whatever we want here it could potentially be a login form it could be a different section of the application to perhaps a user detail depending on what your application is so to bear in mind once this is open I can't actually do anything to the original one before I can, I have to deal with this. Dealing with it, I mean close it in some form. So if I close it, I can now, you know, move this. I could, you know, press that button again. But again, I can't, you know, use the original form until this one has been closed. And honestly, that's it for modals. You can apply all the different techniques that you've learned throughout this series to the other forms. And obviously, naturally, you could add buttons here, double click it, apply the code that you already know. That's it. All you need to know is how to open them, and we've covered that. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.